Hello, I'm High Hero Knight. This is my Godzilla X Kong pitch meeting reaction. Come on, everybody, better do the Kong, yeah? Spoilers ahead. So, you have a sequel to Monkey Punch Lizard for me? <laughs> yes, sir, I do. And I was thinking we mix it up this time and Monkey and Lizard punch together. Oh, who they punch? Other Monkey and other Lizard. <laughs> Say no more. Okay. Okay, you can say more now. Okay, so remember the human characters from the last movie? Absolutely not. Well, they're back. <laughs> oh boy. So there's that scientist Eileen who adopted that kid Gia, who's the last surviving member of the Iwi tribe from Skull Island. Vaguely familiar sounding, sure. And there's this signal coming from Hollow Earth that seems to be giving Gia visions and hallucinations and stuff. In other words, hallucinations? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> and so Godzilla seems to react to these signals too, and he attacks a power plant and absorbs all the radiation. Why does he do that? Well, Monarch seems seems to think he's preparing for something. Oh, what do they think he's preparing for? The end of the movie. Oh, okay, and what's going on with Kong? Oh, a whole bunch of stuff. He's living down in Hollow Earth, and he's lonely, and he has a toothache. What? So he comes back up to the surface, and this new character, Trapper, who's like a vet for Titans, is gonna help him with the tooth. What are you talking about? He's gonna, like, pull the tooth out with the crane, replace it with a big fake one? He just had a giant fake tooth replacement lying around? Yes, and so now a team has to go down to Hollow Earth to check out this signal. So who do they send? Well, Eileen's running the show, so she she brings Trapper, a pilot guy. Sure. A conspiracy theorist podcaster, because he was in the last movie, and a child. That's the team? It is, <laughs> yeah, it says so right here. Oh, at least they have the pilot guy. Oh, he immediately gets eaten by a tree. Oh, okay, at least they have the... A dentist guy? They sure do, sir. And so meanwhile, Kong discovers a secret world below Hollow Earth. There's a Hollow Earth under Hollow Earth? That's what we're going with. So in Hollow Earth, he encounters some big monkeys like him, including a baby one. Oh, very cute. Yeah, but the little monkey bites his hand and the others attack, so he uses the baby monkey as a baseball bat to fight them all off. Oh, uh, using a child as a weapon is tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now what does he do? Well, he makes the little kid bring him to the leader, so they go on this quest and do some, like, God of War-style bonding. Some what? Some The Last of Us style bonding. Some what? Some Mandalorian style bonding. Some what? Some Logan style bonding. Some what? Grizzled old fighter bonds with child as they travel. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. So they eventually get to this place with a bunch of monkeys being ruled by Scar King. What? How'd Mufasa's brother get down there? No, he's just a big bad monkey and he controls a lizard called Shimo that has like ice breath. I mean, this thing knows what it's like to chew five gum. Uh-oh. Yeah, so Kong gets in a fight with them and the lizard freezes his hand. Oh no. So he retreats back to slightly less hollow earth and the humans have to help him out now. I mean, it's gonna be impossible for the humans to do anything about a giant frozen monkey hand. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, he turns out there was a scrap project to make Kong a big armored exoskeleton. How are they gonna get that all the way down to Hollow Earth and set it up on Kong? Well, actually, this glove is kind of right next to where they are, so Trapper just goes to get it, and it slips on Kong's hand like a glove, because it is one. Seriously? That's what I wrote here, <laughs> sir. And the robot glove also helps with his frostbite, because that's part of the robot glove. It helps with frostbite. Okay, I'm sorry. I think I gotta... I mean, these movies have been silly, but I gotta draw the line at some point. That's just... Come on. If we shoot this, you get to sell robot-handed Kong toys. Control Z. <laughs> just try to undo what you said. It did, yeah. Did it work? It did. Sick. So anyway, then Godzilla's gonna kill a titan to remind us that he's in the movie. Oh, yeah! Gonna turn pink, too. That's a different kind of toy you can sell. Sure. And Eileen finds some hieroglyphics that explain that Scar King once tried to take over the surface world, but Godzilla stopped him and trapped him in the Hall of Earth. Okay. And also, there's a prophecy that Gia is the key to reawakening Mothra. Who's the key to stopping Scar King again? She gets all that from some hieroglyphics? Yeah, we needed an exposition dump, so she's gonna read them like a newspaper. Well, okay then. So now Kong needs Godzilla's help. Is it time for the big final fight now? Yeah, we've delayed the promise of the premise long enough. It's time to fight. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Wow. But first, as a bonus fight, Godzilla and Kong are gonna fight for a minute, because Godzilla doesn't understand what's happening. He is a large pink lizard. Right, why would large lizard have any context for what's going on with underground giant monkeys? Yeah, so Godzilla does a suplex to Kong, and Kong <laughs> throws some sand in his face. This is happening in Cairo. Sure. And just as large pink lizard's about to kill big monkey, large moth shows up and telepathically explains the situation to lizard. Blended. So then there's gonna be a bunch of fighting, and they're gonna kill about 750,000 people in 
Rio. Oh my god, that's literally devastating. Not a single character will react to it, and now Scar King wants to use Shimo to make another Ice Age. Not good, quite cold. But the good titans destroy the crystal he was using to control his lizard, so then they freeze him and shatter him dead. Oh, close one, that monkey almost did an Ice Age. But two monkeys, two lizards, and a moth stopped it. Blended. And so that's about it, what do you think? I mean, I always enjoyed bashing my action figures together as a child, and this sounds like a multi-million dollar version of that. <laughs> you think people are gonna want to see it? Well, you said Godzilla suplexes Kong, and Kong uses a baby Kong as a baseball bat? I did. We'll be fine. <laughs> Oh, use your children as a baseball. That is not tight for the record, okay? <laughs> but for the record, this pitch video was awesome, and I hope you enjoyed my reaction. Like, button, subscribe, comment, share, find inspiration everywhere.